Hi, today I want to show you how to run the model WAN 2.2 on 8GB VRAM. You probably have already heard about the release of WAN 2.2. Let's go to the Comfy UI website. And here you can find the WAN 2.2 video generation information. And down here you will find more details about the models and where to put the model. Because I'm running on uh, RTX 4070 with 8GB VRAM, I'm going to look at the GGUF models here. Of course, I will link everything in the description. I just want to look at the image to video. And if I click on this here and go to files here, I can see the high noise and low noise models here. I need to download both of them. Just click on it. I downloaded the Q6 uh, GGUF model. Uh, high noise and low noise. Uh, if I go to here and go back to the low noise here. And I need this as well. And the VAE, uh, you will see uh, we can use the WAN 2.1 VAE. So if you already got one, then you don't need to download it. I also use the uh, cell forcing LoRa. Go to the CVID AI page. You need a login for that. So this is the page. I will link this in the description. I downloaded the I2V image to video LoRa. So now let's go to Comfy UI and go to Workflow Browse Templates Video and you will find when 2.2 14B image to video here. So don't worry about the model for the moment. Make sure you got your config UI updated in case you got missing node. As usual, go to the manager, install missing custom nodes here. I've got everything already installed, so there's no problem at all. And now we need the GGUF loader. Make that larger and just hold the out key and drag and drop get a duplicate and now this one I'm going to load my high noise Q6 and this one will be the low noise Q6 and here I'm going to move this two up there because we need a little bit space for Laura this go to here here and we need the LoRa loader model only. Go to here and duplicate that. So the top one will be the high noise one. I put it here. The bottom one is the low noise. And I just make sure this go to here, to go to the top one case sampler. And this one go to the bottom case sampler here. I'm going to select this one, image to video. It's already selected in my case, but just in case, uh, select the image to video here. So if we go back to the LoRa page, the recommendation, four steps, CFG equal one LCM sampler. That's what we need to change in our workflow. Now this one is the Default is 20 step, we change it to 4 and CFG to 1 LCM sampler and here we start with step 0 and end with step 2 because we have another sampler to go half of it as you can see the original steps are 20 and it start half of it with 10 now we have only got 4 Change this to 4 and CFG to 1 LCM sampler and this one we start with 2 so I hope I've got everything right and one more thing is I keep on forgetting is change the prompt here 
men will point to the camera and they look at each other and start laughing. So it's a very simple one. So this is the image I generated with Flux Context in one of my previous video. You can check that out, how to do the uh, reference character. And because this one is quite close up uh, image, I can use lower resolution. 512 is okay. 512. And the length is, let's say 16 times 4 seconds. And now one thing I want to change is the output. This is by default MP4. I like to output it to WebM because that one stores the workflow as well. So then I could get it here. Now I need to configure this one. I like to use a AV one and the frame rate 16 should be enough for small video and the quality say 18 because the video is so short they will get better quality larger file size and now I want to remove this one and bypass these two nodes just to make sure they are not causing issue okay I just saw something I forgotten here I need to change it to 512 as well so make sure it's square I hope I got everything right and let's go and now I need to stop the OBS to reduce the GPU usage. Okay, it's done. One thing I forgot to mention is the uh, VAE and as you can see here, the VAE is using the 2.1 so I assume you have already downloaded before. Uh, in I used it in my previous video as a UMT5 clip, this here, so there's nothing new here. Now let's check the result. Let's check how long did it take? This is 167 seconds. That's not too bad. So let's have a look here. What is about the output? Let's play it here. Uh, you can see it's pointing to the camera and it start laughing. So it actually followed the prompt. I really love this uh, fast action. As you can see uh, in my intro, it does the dance movement really well. Of course, I have picked uh, from the best. Some of them are also with typical AI mistakes. But in general, it does really well. In those uh, video where the subject is far away, I use a higher resolution, 640 by 640, because otherwise it will have some morphing. But in this case, I'm using 512, it's okay. If you have any questions, just post it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Wow. Wow. <laughs> there are more videos to watch Or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video